ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبد رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما فان اصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ما بعد او بيرفكت بريز از دي تو الله وي بريز هيم سيك هيز ايد اند اسك هيم فور فورغيفنس وي سيك ريفيج ويز الله فروم We seek refuge with Allah from the evil of our souls and the bad consequences of our misdeeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can lead astray, and whoever Allah sends astray, none can guide. I testify that there is none truly worthy of worship except Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. O you who have believed, fear Allah as you should be feared and do not die except as Muslims in submission to him. O mankind, fear your Lord who created you from one soul and created from it its mate and dispersed from both of them many men and women. And fear Allah through whom you ask of one another and the wombs. Indeed, Allah is ever over you an observer. O you who have believed, fear Allah and speak words of appropriate justice. And speak words of appropriate justice. He will then amend for you your deeds and forgive you your sins. And whoever obeys Allah has certainly attained great attainment. The most truthful of speech is that of Allah the Almighty the best guidance is that of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the most evil of matters are those invented in religion every invented matter in religion is a religious innovation and every religious innovation is a misguidance and every misguidance is in the hellfire now we will look into some aqida and the basics of our creed and religion mal aqida what is aqida هي الايمان الجازم الذي لا يتطرق اليه شق لدى معتقده في الايمان بالله تعالى وما يجب له من التوحيد بربوبيته والوهيته واسمائه وصفاته it is the firm and doubtless belief in Allah the almighty and in the oneness of his lordship the oneness of his divinity and in the oneness of his names and attributes as is due to him mal usul thalathatu allati yajibu ala al abdi ma'rifatuha wa are the three fundamental principles a slave of allah must know ma'rifatu al abdi rabbahu wa dinahu wa nabiyyahu muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knowing his lord his religion and his prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is clear from the question mentioned that aqeedah is the firm belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why is it important to know our faith sheikh al islam ibn taymiyah may allah have mercy on him said if the heart is sound in terms of faith knowledge and feelings then this will inevitably lead to the soundness of physical actions such as verbal statements and deeds From this we understand that we have an obligation to know who Allah is and what is required for us to be successful in this life and the next and why we are Muslims. 
Allah has 99 names and from this we must associate these 99 attributes to Allah and Allah alone. Allah says in the Quran, and Allah's names are the best of names, therefore call on him and leave alone those who violate the sanctity of his names. They shall be recompensed for what they did. Aqidah also covers Tawheed. This is also, not, uh, this is also known as the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As part of our pillars of Islam, we must believe that we bear witness that Allah is the only one worthy of worship and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. If we do not obey the divinity and the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, surely we will be from amongst the mushrikeen. <laughs>